Yeah, um, Lorenzo and Holly was down in the movie theater. What's up, Hustle God? And if this is your first time seeing my beautiful face, welcome. And if this is your millionth time seeing my beautiful face, welcome back. This is basically about a time that I was in like a three-way relationship unknowingly, unwillingly, and y'all, I didn't, I basically did not get the red flags, okay? So I'm gonna give y'all the before, the during, and the after. It really began like four, five years ago, like I was talking to somebody previous to the guy, named the guy Lorenzo, and we're gonna name the girl Holly. So, and then you have me. So you have me, Lorenzo, and Holly. I went to school with Lorenzo and Holly. We all had the same classes together. It was cool, it was fine, it was dandy. Um, to my knowledge, I never knew Lorenzo and Holly to be a couple um, or talking. I just thought they were friends because, you know, you never saw any, like, I never got couple vibes from them. That's what I'm going to say. I, so, you know, I, I used to peep Lorenzo at school. And, you know, he was real quiet and stuff. But, you know, he was always fresh. You can tell he was a little older than you know, people that I was in class with. So one day, Lorenzo decided to put his number in my phone. I was like, okay, that's weird. Like, I'ma just chill though. I ain't gonna text him or nothing. Like, it's cool that he put his number in my phone, but I'm just not gonna text him. Three days passed and I still had not texted him. And like, he would just be like talking to me more and stuff like that. So I was just like, okay, I'ma, t I'ma just text him. So I was like, hey, this is Tiff. And he was like, oh, it's about time you message me and yada, yada, yada. And basically, I was like, okay, cool. You know, now note, guys, I'm going to just put this as a side note. I still was talking to other people. So, like, I was talking to a joint from back home. And then I had a couple. Actually, I was talking to a couple joints from back home. Because, like I said, my mission was to still go back home. Like, it was like it was cool to have a distraction while you're there because that makes the time go by faster but it's like at the end of the day i'm still gonna go back home so i'm still talking to lorenzo we're talking pretty much every day but the first red flag that i missed was during our talking stage he will always hang up the phone like we would be talking and i'd be in a good conversation you know i hate when folks get me in a good conversation and then hang up or be like, oh, I'm going to call you back. So he basically pulled that on me. He basically was like, instead of him saying he's going to call me back, he just hung up. And that's what that's what would piss me off. And it just got to a point where the joint that I was talking to, he, he kept like throwing like little subliminal messages at me. He was really being like hurt bay, salt bay. He was really being like hurt bay. Like this was like the turning point for me and Lorenzo. So me and Lorenzo, it, it just started off, it was me, Lorenzo, and Holly all at a table. And we were out after class, we were just talking, and he was like, oh, I was just mentioning to them, you know, like, yeah, I'm about to go back home, like, I'm over it, like, I'm about to hurry up and, ha and finish everything so I can get going, like, I, I gotta go, like, before I go crazy. I was like, because we're going to name the other guy. We're going to name him Jameson. I was like, because Jameson, he's doing a little too much for me. So he was just like, no, nah, you don't need to go. Don't let nobody rush you up out of here. Like, you take your time. And, you know, like, he's mainly talking to me. But, like, he's, like, locked with me. And, like, Holly's, like, just sitting there. I can see Holly out of my peripheral. And she's just looking at him and looking at me and then looking at him and then looking at me. And to me, I didn't catch it because, you know, when you heat it and you just, like, in that moment, that's just how it is. So, like I said, Lorenzo, um, a couple of days after that, basically was telling me, like, how he'd been watching me for the past little five months that I was at the little school or whatever and how... He been wanting to talk to me. That moment, I was just like, I had already been like peeping him. So I would be like, prior to that, let me tell you guys this. So the girls, you know, you in an all girls dorm. So all of the girls, we used to go in each other's room and just talk, have like girl time. So one particular day, I was getting ready for a date 
with one of my little joints that I had there talking and I'm like so what about you and Lorenzo are y'all friends like are y'all dating like what's y'all what's y'all status she like nah we cool you don't want to talk to him or nothing I'm like girl because he's fine like he's fine not only is he fine like I can tell that he got some money like you don't want to talk to him she's like nah we just cool and i'm just like girl you better get on him before i do like as a joke but i was like joking serious like that's how i was it was like graduation day and sis was graduating and um sis family came down there and everything to see her graduate and like i only know this knowledge now because he told me all this knowledge like like after everything because i was in the classroom crying and my friends at the time went to her aid okay and i know if y'all watching this y'all gonna be like tiffany no no yes bitch y'all did <laughs> anyway fast forward to a couple weeks after that the weekends every every weekend they all everybody gets like a hotel or if they live at home they go home or they just find something to do. But me, I was on the grind, baby. <laughs> I went to a hotel. I guess it was Holly's birthday or whatever. And, um, but me and him were still talking. We were still talking the whole time. He was just like, no, I think you should stay. Like, I'm almost done. Like, I really want to take you to the next level. So within him saying that he wanted to take it to the next level, like he had already been like buying me gifts and stuff but i like when you're dealing with a woman that already has her own and already has her own money and like oh he was like yeah i want to date you or whatever and he basically was like yeah like it's just us like it's me and you against the world like da 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 like now we're like officially dating at this time we officially dating him and holly are still talking they're still communicating me not being a i'm not a jealous type of person because i know i'm a i know i'm fly i know i'm fine i know i got a lot of shit going for myself so it's like i'm not really too worried about it but ain't no competition please period but no for real so i was just like okay that's fine he was like they were like you don't care that him and holly still talk and i'm just like Lorenzo's gonna do what Lorenzo wants to do. Lorenzo is a grown man. If he wants to talk to Holly, if he wants to talk to anybody he wants to talk to, he can talk to them. I don't care. Unless you give me a reason to feel like I need to start going through your stuff. Or if I get a vibe, I would hear like when I would go to work, they would be like in a movie theater like movie theater is where all people go to basically you know get their rocks off that like my friends like soon as i got to signing in they was waiting on me to tell me to tea honey yeah um lorenzo and holly was down in the movie theater yeah <laughs> what'd you say I'm gonna ask him. I said, if he lied, I'm gonna know if he lied because he already know they told me. He already know that these folk done told on him. So he might as well just tell me the truth. I asked him. And when. It was basically like, yeah, we was down there. But nothing happened. I said, so why was y'all down there? He was like, oh, we was just talking. 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 So I had to give him a one-two check check. And I did not I did not text him or call him for a couple days. Like he was blowing my line down, honey. Okay. Because my friends, they was like, so you really think that Lorenzo's for you? Like, I'm just like, if he's not, let me know. Show me proof. Like, I just I'm a type of person that I like to confront situations myself. I basically gave him an ultimatum and he basically was like, Well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you're not about to give me no ultimatum and i was just like i was asking my friends this is a lot of blind should lead the blind i was asking my friends like okay what what does that mean like my friend gave me some whack ass advice now that i think about it she was like well girl maybe he just saying like he's a man he can talk to whoever he wants to and you just gotta be okay with that you just gotta trust him and i was like okay maybe that's what it is like maybe that's what it is him and holly basically 
they weren't as in contact as much um let's just fast forward a year now we've been together a year i've moved out i'm in my own place um um i, I was about to say her real name <laughs> holly has moved out she's in her own place um but lorenzo he's almost done with school he's getting all the little things that he needed to get done get get them done and lorenzo calls me on this faithful day y'all but to tell me that he's moving in with holly So I was just like, and you think that's okay for what? Well, because you don't have your license right now, y'all. And guess what my dumb ass did? I said, okay, two years now. And things just start to add up for me. Like it started to bother me that he was living with her. Now, now together, they've been living together a year. They've been living together a year. Me and him are gonna get our place together. I go to this Thanksgiving with my friends and it was so weird because they invited Holly and then her two little friends that are a couple. So they were like, so my friends did not know that Lorenzo lived with Holly. And I was so petrified to tell my friends because my friends, they be on my ass, okay? Because I be on their ass, so they be on my ass. I was just like, look, Lorenzo and Holly have been living together for the past year. And they were like, what? So how are you and Lorenzo? I'm like, we're fine, you know, da 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 So we just get to talking about, like, Lorenzo and, like, everything that's been happening, you know, just catching it up. One of her friends end up bringing up the fact, basically, that Lorenzo has been living there um for the past year and a half and they were like oh okay like okay do you want a cookie everybody cooked and then holly brung some rice to thanksgiving you don't eat rice on thanksgiving lorenzo had to work on thanksgiving so before that he stopped by my friend's place and dropped me off some money um because lorenzo like i said lorenzo was taking care of me he, he was providing all my financial needs that's what i'm gonna say he puts the money down i decide i don't want to move in <clears throat> i decide that it's time for me to go home and i was just like so freaking sad and I, the man takes care of you and he provides your every need food shelter clothing comes a time where that man will let you know who's in charge and who calls the shots and it i would never thought that he would have done that since he's been doing it for so long like I said, he's been doing it since we met. He like kind of bossed up on me. Like just telling me that if he don't pay or if he don't come out with no money, I ain't going to have shit. I ain't like that feeling. So I was just like, oh no, like I got to go home. Him and Holly, they still have communication going. Like I never let him know that I knew this, but like I will always like, you know, once you start to, once a woman's intuition keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, you're always going to have that. So like, I always would check his phone, see that they're still communicating and it's not friendly conversation. Like, and I would just be like, but I felt like I was stuck. So I'd just be like, okay, I'm not, I'm just gonna deal with it until I can, you know, get myself out of this situation. So once it, then it just started becoming like blatant, like blatant disrespect in my face. Like <clears throat> if she would call, he would answer or like if she would text him something i'd be like that's inappropriate like why are y'all talking like that like he would like check me like no so i just was like oh no like i gotta go so i end up going back home um and i'll leave like me leaving him i'll leave that to another story because that's a crazy story so me i end up leaving him and i was just basically like oh my god he was he basically like talked me back into like being with him but i never i always said i'm gonna stay home because i felt like if i was to go back i would have still been in that situation so the communication wasn't really there the spark wasn't really there like um he flew out here to my hometown so yeah it was just like he came out here and him and holly was still talking and i'm just like 
now no we're in the bed together they always say how you get a man is how you're gonna lose them so we're in the bed together you know we do what we do we do whatever he falls asleep passes out his phone is ringing his phone is like messaging i'm like why don't why are you still texting him like <clears throat> so i'm reading their messages he basically telling her how he's going to leave me and how he wants to be with her now and how he shouldn't have never left her and how i was just so cool off the situation you know how like the chemistry is not there anymore or anything that's how it kind of was it was like oh my god it was just too much it's like you are still talking to holly and you're lying to me and telling me that you're not when clearly you were you clearly were still talking to holly this whole time and she's been okay with being the side bitch basically he was talking to holly the whole time and i basically was like oh my god like what kind of voodoo shit is this yeah, he would go days without talking to me and then come back. And try to be like, oh, how are you? I just sent you money and da 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 Like, oh, I just sent you $500. I just sent you $1,000. You okay? Like, I love you. Do you love me? And how he would always, like, try to give me, he'd be like, oh, I'm coming down there. Like, we're going to be together. It's going to be me and you. And I used to fall for it, but eventually I just got over it. I was just like, oh, no. Like, eventually just, like, stopped talking to him. And then I eventually, like, blocked him story i hope you guys enjoyed um i hope i did good on this story trying to explain everything but if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know if you want more stories about this crazy crazy time i'm giving you guys videos back to back to back to back and i love you guys thank you hustle guys for all the love and support we're on the way to a thousand <sighs> you know and we just needed to get it together y'all and i love you guys Peace.